This is a Jakobsleip, and it's changing the way we understand glaciers. See, back in 2014, some satellites picked up what looked like a giant hole in the Harder Glacier. And it turned out to be just that, a giant hole. A massive subglacial flood basically found its way uphill, rose through the cracks of the ice to release this massive spout of water. It was so big, it scoured six square kilometers worth of ice and it threw out ice blocks over 40 meters in size. This thing must have been colossal. And what specifically makes this rather unique is one would assume that with there being meltwater, glaciers should increase in their speed, you know, acting like a lubricant. But in this particular case, after 2014, they noticed a decrease in 63% when it comes to its speed. Interestingly, there was no pool of water on the top that got refrozen. It went back into the crevasse, never to be seen again. They believe the glacier slowed down because some of the water was obviously lost as it shot out and the rest of the water dissipated and disappeared. And the lack of water or that lubricant at the bottom basically allowed the glacier to affix itself or basically freeze the bedrock putting it in place. Now the big question is what does this mean for our ice models because we have never seen this process before and the idea that it slows glacial movements down is a new one to us. Could this change how we model our ice sheets for the future especially with the looming threat of climate change?